Well, how do there, chums? Chums, how in the view of us? I have received myself a message from Miyogi. Yes, there you go. Let me play you the message from Miyogi because he's given me a little mini assignment to do. Here we go. Let me play Miyogi's message. Hey, Captain Steve. Something unusual is happening on the space stations. Um, when you go to the mission, give the cartographer and the faction one. If you're looking inside them on the left-hand side, you'll see a false wall and a door, a uh, false wall there, and some objects behind it. That wasn't there before, I'm 90% positive. Ron's clarified it with me. It might be worth you doing a video on it, that uh, things are changing in the space stations. So I just thought I'd let you know. Right, okay, so things are changing inside of the space stations. There seems to be a false wall to the left-hand side of kiosks, and maybe a door. This I have to see. Let's jump on into game and let's take to the skies and let's fly on up to the nearest space station and see if we can do some investigation inside of space station. Let's go hammering up into the space. Here we go, space in your face, space. Right, let's have a little shifty around for a space station. There it is there. I'm on my way to the space station to do this investigation. I'll see you in the station, people at home. Oh, for fudge sake, I've been bloody probed on the way to the space station. This could make my mission harder, especially since I haven't tooled up the shippers yet. Holy fudge Nori. Hello there. No, you can't have my legal cargo because it contains station overrides. No, I refuse to comply. Ah, okay, quick, fly like the winds, Captain Steve. Go, go, go. No, no. Right, okay. We're just going to have to barrel roll all the way there. It's going to take me 30 minutes at this speed. Alright, okay. If you barrel roll like this, usually they can't actually hit you with their rocket fire or any sort of fire. And all I do is watch until they fall off the map, and then I pulse again. There you go. There's my little tip to escape the Afartas. Take that, Afartas. Heck yes. On the way to the space station again, people. Lovely. Oh, you're having a laugh. They're probing me a second time. Double probage. You get bags. No, you're not having my freaking stuffage. I've already told you once. Do one, mate. Frick off. Okay, here we go then. Refuse to comply. Yes, non-compliance yet again, my friend. What are you going to do about it? Freaking have it in the face. Okay, all right, fine. Right, okay, barrel rolling again. Here we go. Let's see if it works the second time. I mean, it worked the first time, bloody treat, didn't it? So you can see all those little boxes behind me. So two of those green ones, they're my wingman, keeping them occupied there. And as soon as it drops off like that, pulse again. Chicka-boom. So the only good thing that your wingmen are good for is causing a distraction to allow you to escape people. Oh, my God. They're probing me a third time. These guys love their freaking probings. I guess they do. I mean... I've heard this is a thing with aliens and what they like to do, but I've never come across it. Never. Okay, right, let's let's get in the frickin' space station before they probe my frickin' orifices. Let's get on in. Frickin' orifice probers. The lot of them. Yeah, keep out of it, you frickin' sentinel scourge. Right, anyway, we've arrived at Cated, after all that probing, and we've arrived inside the station. Let's have a look, see. So when he, he said to the cartographer and the mission vendor, not the module givers, but these guys over here, something has changed. Let's go and have a look, see. He said the cartographer and the mission giver guy. So let's go over here. And when he said, he said, when you're looking at them, the left hand, oh, yes. Look, that back wall, look. It's opened up. Isn't that squiffy? All right, hold on. Back into camera mode. Yeah, it looks like you can walk through one and into the other. What, the actual flying fudge? You're right. Okay, and this and this one. Yeah, look. you got cabinets, mate. What the fudge? Oh, well spotted. Well spotted. There is a little sort of, like, nook. And even this one, the mission guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look. I'm on a road to nowhere. Because that one that one goes behind the Galactic Trade Terminal, doesn't it? Isn't that strange? Why would that have been tweaked? I know that we might be getting an update fairly soon, but that is rather odd. I'll just see if I can walk through the wall. It's not going to happen. Right, OK. All right, fine. Now, there used to be a little sneaky man sneak sneak. If you got inside of your ship, so let's go into my ship. You used to, if you went into camera mode, you used to be able to go below the platform. Let me see if that's still a thing. 
Ah, dang it. You used to be able to go through this platform down here and go under your ship at one stage. You can't do that anymore. Let's go up here. Let's see, what, let's see what's going on with the shutters down. Yeah, I can't really... Aha! Hold on. You see that glitched through slightly. So you can see through that wall over there. But all I'm seeing is like a planter pot. And it looks like one of those cubes that either gives you nanites or nav data sitting over there, people. Isn't that weird? All right, let's go through here. Let's have a look over there. So I can see the plants and stuff like that. That's in that room over at the back, I think. Hold on, that room at the back there, did it have a desk in it? I don't know whether it did, actually. Look, there's a chair just floating out there. You see that chair and a desk? I don't think it had a room and a desk in there or another square chair there. Let's just run back up there. One second, one second. Maybe I didn't actually, you know, cotton on to that. But it is weird that there's some nav data sitting somewhere in between these two. There's some nav data just around in the middle there, but... What the actual... Ah, look. Actually, look, I can see the nav data cube behind him there. What the actual flying fudge? Why have you got a nav data cube there that I can't reach? Get back. Okay. Yeah. Let's go over here then. Ah, maybe that corner of the desk I was... No, it's not that though, is it? It might be that, actually. Let's go over here. Let's have a quick look, see in this room. Ah, there is a desk there. There's two desks there. All right, cool. All right, fine. Okay, well, I don't think I could see anything through there, but it is a bit weird that they've put in those sort of like hollow walls, almost like a corridor that's running through these now. Well spotted, Miyogi, but I I don't know whether that means anything. Now, there used to be a wall there before. You can see where this curtain doesn't actually connect to anything anymore. There used to be a solid wall there. You are right. It is a bit weird that we can now sort of see through into the next kiosk. But, you know, I suppose if they wanted a toilet break before, they had a little bit of a, a problem getting out of there, didn't they? But, you know, it, it is what it is. Maybe it's a little bit quicker for them now. Maybe there is some sort of lavatory just behind this. That will make sense. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's pretty much everything, people. There are subtle changes happening with inside of the stations. Read into that. What you like, people inside the universe. Hope you yes. Right, eh? So, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's something, I suppose. Now... You probably can tell from over on the old Twitterverse and the old Sean Murray watch that there is nothing happening inside of the world of Hello Games and the old Murrays. And there still isn't anything happening with the actual Quicksilver items inside of the Nexus. At least I haven't actually checked today. I'll go check and just make sure that I'm not talking out of my backside. One second. Okay, I might as well jump over into game. I'm flying into the Nexus as we speak, people. Now, the weekend mission technically is still running until about one of the pms today so now look i can already see the kiosk over at the back there the orange bar has not moved it's still sitting at the freaking top end so I, it is not reset if you're wondering what i mean by the orange bar above where johnny five is who are you know the quicksilver synthesis companion if you look up where that little white marker is going and i'll show you in camera mode this this bar here so it starts there and it ends around here. You see it's got all the different se segments. They're the tiers. If there's only three tiers, there'd only be like three bars. When there's four tiers, there's four bars. And once it's complete like that, gone all orange, everything is unlocked. And it's sitting there at the top end. It's completely unlocked. Look, you can see the same bar at the top here. So you don't even have to interact with the guy to know when something new is unlocked. You know, because this will all be greyed out. If tier one had unlocked, it would only be up to this line, you know. It... it... <laughs> Yeah, it's a progress bar, basically. Progress bar, that's the easiest way to explain it. And everybody knows what a progress bar is. Right, well, yeah, there's that. So anyway, people, I, it, nothing's going on right now inside of No Man's Sky, like I say. Yeah, so for now, I'm just going to carry on playing good old Power World for a bit more longer and enjoy that game, which I thoroughly am enjoying that game, to be honest, people inside the view of us. And if you haven't seen my playthrough of... Um, Power World, I'll put a full link over there. You can go watch the playlist, get all caught on up. I know it's not out on the old PlayStation, it's only out on Xbox, it's only out on PC right now. I'm hoping it comes to um, PlayStation, I really am. It's not on their roadmap though, is it? So, you know, I don't know whether it's on the cards. Till next time, people, salute to Monday! Until, yeah, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.